Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, Mark Young on MetalCasting.com. Just here to show you my new burner that I built. Uh, it's basically the Oliver Upwind burner from BackyardMetalCasting.com. Right now, I've got a three-quarter to I'm sorry, a one and a half to three-quarter reducer on the end, so it runs outside of the furnace. While it's in the furnace, it actually does not need the reducer on there. I'm not sure why. Um, but I just want to show you this guy runs a little better, runs a little cleaner than my other burner. Um, that was this one, if you recall from another video. But right now it's about 12 degrees outside uh, Fahrenheit. And I'm going to be getting a head start on building my new furnace here. I'll be putting this video together over the next couple of hours. But one nice thing about having a propane burner like this is on cold days, you can use it to heat up the garage. So I'll show you this guy running here. And nice big flame. Right now I've got my propane regulator on about as low a pressure as it can go. And flame seems to be doing fine. If I turn the pressure up a little bit, it actually doesn't really seem to be doing anything. Uh, I believe the pressure is, nope, oh, there we go. Turning the pressure down makes the flame go down. But it comes to a point where the amount of gas that can exit the burner is actually controlled by the diameter of the hole where the gas exits so no matter how high the pressure inside the hose it's only going to be able to allow so much gas out of the hole um, I've got a number 57 drill bit for I drilled a number 57 hole in there but I guess uh, that's it for this video. I'm going to start putting together my furnace here. I'll take some pictures and some videos as I go along on that. And happy melting.